I started learning programming very late in my life. I was already 25 when I really took programming seriously. I knew how to write if else statements or for loops, but I was not in a position to build anything meaningful. But by the age of 27, I had already started working for Amazon, and at the tender age of 29, I joined Google. After doing YouTube for a couple of years now, I realized that most people can build skills to have a journey similar to mine, but they lack the mental models that can help them get there. In this video, I'll cover all those mental models. Let's do this. When I decided to switch my career to programming, I had already spent 6 years pursuing bachelor's and master's degrees that did not get me any jobs. And like anyone else in my position, I was feeling like I'm 6 years behind my friends who had high paying jobs at big tech companies. But I was completely wrong. Let me tell you why. Imagine a room that has been dark for 6 years. Do you need 6 years to bring light into that room? Not really. Open the window and the light will fill the room in one instant. Similarly, it does not matter how long you have failed. It takes just one moment of success to turn things around. So I was not really 6 years behind. I was just one moment behind where I needed to be. It's easy to get caught up in the sunk cost fallacy, thinking that all those years were wasted. But this mental model helps us shift our perspective from living in the past to focusing on the future possibilities. All that motivation is great but let me tell you something that I've learned from my own practical experience every single time that I wanted to turn my life around it only took me 2 to 3 years when i prepared for iit it took me 2 years for programming it again took me 2 years to get my first big breakthrough and the same thing happened again with youtube that's why now i live by the rule of 2 whenever i start something new in my life i give myself 2 years to start seeing some results now 2 years might be very slow for some people and very fast for others what matters is the core idea that the time it takes to turn your life around is not the same as the time you spent in darkness The rule of 2 is not just about the motivation. It's also about setting the right expectations. In today's world of instant gratification, we often expect immediate results, but real, lasting change takes time. It's all about consistent effort over a substantial period of time. This mental model keeps you from giving up too soon. What makes the rule of 2 even more powerful is the fact that it gives you the ability to start over. I'll let Naval explain this for me. If you find a mountain and you start climbing and you spend your whole life climbing it and you get say 2/3 of the way and then you see the peak is like way up there but you're 2/3 of the way up you're still really high up but now to go the rest of the way you're going to have to go back down to the bottom and look for another path. Nobody wants to do that. people don't mm. want to start over yeah. and it's the nature of later in life that you just don't have the time so it's very painful to go back down and look for a new path but that may be the best thing to do and that's why when you look at the greatest artists uh and and creators they have this ability to start over that nobody else does like Elon will you know mm -hmm. be called an idiot and start over Naval's insight here is very deep the ability to start over is a superpower in today's rapidly changing world when you know that you can start over you are less a afraid of failure you are more willing to take risks and try new things we are in a time where there is a lot of unpredictability around whether ai will take our jobs every now and then i will get messages from people who are almost looking for a guarantee that ai will not take away programming jobs unfortunately there are no guarantees on whether you'll be born or when you will die how can there be guarantees in between for someone who is ready to start over Life is much simpler because they can stay in the present and make decisions based on the facts that they know to be true. Next mental model that has been very helpful for me is that you don't need to be in the top 1% to be successful. Let me explain what I mean by that. If you're in highly creative fields like music or writing, Success follows a power law. In these fields, a small number of individuals will capture all the attention, sales and income. While the majority of people in the profession struggle to make a living or remain largely unknown, software engineering on the other hand is not that extreme. There are a larger number of good jobs in the tech industry overall. I know that the market is in a downturn. 
but we are recovering even though there are some highly qualified engineers with a disproportionate share of wealth recognition and opportunities the majority of people can still have some level of success if they have the right skills and if they keep working on their skills for some time they can be part of the hyper successful engineers that they look up to this mental model is liberating because it removes the pressure of having to be the absolute best it's not about competing with everyone else it's about improving yourself and finding your niche when i switched my career at 25 i immediately started seeing moderate level of success i got a job that was better than what i could get with my degrees from the last 6 years as i worked on my 9 to 5 job i kept improving myself in the evenings and weekends for the next 2 years in the end i managed to get to amazon and google people might say that it was a different time things are different now i understand that but i still believe that with programming you can get an opportunity to live and fight another day Another framework that has helped me a lot personally is that the market does not care about your feelings. If you think that you are too old to learn programming, the market does not care for that. Or if you feel that you could have learned programming if you had a computer earlier in your life, the market does not care for that. In other words, the market is neutral to your feelings. This mental model will help you focus on what truly matters in a job market. It's not about your background, your age, or your personal circumstances. It's about what you can do. what value you can bring in the beginning i would go to the interviews and tell people look i learned it all by myself no cs degree no college courses no boot camp i bring value because i can learn fast they would kick my ass in the interviews and send me home now i just focus on what the market cares about and that's my skills even if that is not entirely true it helps me to believe that my skills is all that matters so if i can work hard and build skills that are valued in the market i would achieve some level of success no matter what that's all from me today coding was really hard for me until i learned these seven things if you want to know what these seven things are watch this video my name is sahil and i'll see you in the next one